How many humpback whales are in the Pacific Ocean? It seems like an easy question. Humpbacks are big animals. They can grow up to almost 50 feet long. They have to come up to the surface to breathe. Why not just count them from an airplane? Unfortunately, compared to the oceans they live in, humpbacks are very small. It would take thousands and thousands of hours to fly over their range. And even then, how could you be sure that you aren't counting the same whale twice? Humpback whale numbers have decreased dramatically since the time of intense whaling in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And some species, such as the humpback, are still endangered. It is important to find out how many humpback whales are in the North Pacific Ocean, and this is what the splash researchers are doing. By finding out how many humpback whales remain in the North Pacific Ocean, scientists will be able to better protect the whale population from possible threats. These threats include a decreasing krill, a tiny shrimp-like crustacean, which makes up the whale's main food source, or other dangers like getting tangled in fishing gear. John Kalambankitis is a research biologist and splash scientist. He's also co-founder of Cascadia Research. Since 1986, we've been tracking humpback and blue whales by identifying individual animals from their natural markings, pigment patterns on the side of blue whales, and scars, marks, and trailing edge on the underside of the flukes of humpbacks. And we use that to both track their movements along the west coast, between Quardell Bank and other areas, as well as to their breeding areas, Hawaii, Mexico, Central America. But we also use it to estimate how many humpback and blue whales are currently in the population. The scientists are interested in how many whales are in both the warmer tropical areas where the whales calve and breed, and the colder areas where they feed. How do John and the other researchers find out how many whales are in these areas? One method is to identify the whales by their tails, or flukes. Because of the color patterns and scarring, each whale fluke is almost as individual as a fingerprint. With a good photograph, researchers can compare whale shots from different locations, see where the whales are moving, and estimate their abundance and distribution. Another method is to take a sample of the whale's skin and blubber, the thick layer of fat that keeps the whale warm. Scientists can use the genetic information to see how healthy the population is as well as help to estimate how many there are. By gathering information on the population and health of humpbacks, scientists can help to protect this fascinating animal so that future generations can enjoy the sight and song of this beautiful creature. <laughs>